to say, Lord, use me. And so it's important that you understand that there's nowhere that you can never reach if you have God on your side. Yeah. There's nothing that you cannot achieve if you have God on your side. You know, one of the things that I've always held on, one of the creed I've held on, is that I can do all things. Listen, he didn't say I can do something. He says I can do all things to Christ that strengthens me. And so when you, see people have seen me rise from different phases of life into another phase. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that I've not had challenges. I ran for election in my local government a few years ago and I lost the election, but I didn't even lose my dreams. I lost the election, but I didn't lose my zeal. I didn't lose my grace. That's why I continue fighting. I, you know, I ran for another election. And then God smiled upon me and said, son, I want to send you to a school. And he sent me to work in an agency in Lagos State Government. And I worked there with young people, with children. But it was like David in the backside of the desert. Yeah. He was walking in the backside with the, you know, with the, with the sheep and the, the goats and the camel. But he was being prepared for greatness. Yeah. I don't know if you understand me. And so you must remember that there are baby step matters, that these are little beginning. But what's important that you must start something. Don't think that you need to be 18 or 20. The world has changed, the world has evolved. And so you at the age of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you must have big dreams, you must have goals. And those goals should not be limited to what you can achieve or your parents' income. Even though my parents were living in a room in the basement, and later we moved to a room at Palo, my dreams were equally my dreams were Abuja, yeah. my dreams were Villa, yeah. my dreams was national. And so, it is not surprising today that to the glory of God, I'm national leader of the APC. <laughs> it's not a fact. And I, and I say this with a sense of humility. Uh, when I was running for chairman, I said to people, and I didn't win, I said, the Bible says, and somebody said, oh, you want to, you want to be chairman of your local government. Is it not too big for you? And I said, God told me, ask of me. And I will give nation yeah. your inheritance. Yeah. I will give to you nation as your inheritance. So becoming nation now, youth leader, was not surprising because he had promised me nation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have to have big goals. You have to have big dreams. You have to, you know, desire and be hungry for something. Somebody say hungry. Oh, yeah. right. So what you leave here with today, if you allow me is the desire to become something. At 16, I was already live on CNN, addressing what we go on YouTube, put down your Israel CNN, you see me at 16 years old, you know. At, at 21, I had already been invited by the Queen to come to Buckingham Palace, you know, to the glory of God. So there are many things that you can do as a young person. At 14, I was already elected in this same Nigeria as the Deputy Senate President of the Nigerian Children's Parliament. So what I'm saying in a sense is, you must find your dreams Begin to work on it, get involved, contest, participate in competition, go and do debates, be part of a, social, a, a youth club or a youth group, do exploit. It says, the, the day that wait upon the Lord shall be near their strength, they shall be strong. You know, she mounted off with wings as eagles. So, what does eagle do? They fly. You've got to fly. You know, you've got to soar, rain high into the sky. So, if I'm going to give you anything, finally. It is that no matter what you do in life, no matter what challenges that you may face, always remember that as long as God is in your corner, listen to me, as long as God is in your corner, the biggest peace of mind you can have is to know that all things work together for good for those that are going to God. If you apply for that position and they didn't give you, you apply for admission to that school or that scholarship and you didn't get it, just know it's working. Somebody says it's working. It's working. If you try to do something and it didn't work at that time, because God has got something bigger and better for you. But don't let anything stop you. You're not too young to have your own company. You're not. You can start making crochet, you can start doing something, you can start selling drinks, you know, after school or even to just do something. Make your life.